Holy flippin' moly, guys! I didn't even know what to do or say, like... Oh, jeez, this is too much for me. It's all overwhelming, to be honest. But, Pokemon Sun and Moon is officially out here in Australia. I know America's still got a bit to go, but by the time this video goes up, I'm sure all across the world, except maybe Europe, this, uh, this game should be out. And I'm so flipping excited. And, uh, I really, really just want to go play it right now, but... I tweeted a picture of these collector's editions, right? The fan editions, which I thought were pretty regular. It turns out, Australia is one of the only countries that got these insane collector's editions. It's pretty cool, because you get these boxes right, but then you also get... These like, I don't know, these black sort of hearing things? I'm not 100% sure what's inside of them, but... I got two of them, and it says Pokemon Sun and Moon, so I guess we'll unbox it as well. But, which one first? What do you reckon? Oh, we'll go moon, we'll go moon. I see that one first. So this is the box itself, it's pretty cool. Push the camera up. Um, it's got like, it's just a regular cardboard thing. It's the exact same front cover, but on the sides, it's got a bit of an extended thing. That's the little logo there. Swing it round, upside down Pokemon Sun and Moon. And then we got the back. Now I'm pretty sure this is the exact same back as the uh, actual game. It's got the almighty barcode, which I know everyone was stressed about. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, doesn't contain the barcode. It does indeed. And uh, yeah, it's just a regular box, but as we open it up, look at this. This is why you buy it. Obviously the game, Pokemon Sun and Moon, all sealed up, but holy flippin' by the dark. This looks insane in person. It is the Steelbook, and if you don't know what the Steelbook is, it's the, uh, oh my gosh, that's all in, that's engraved? That's nuts, look at this. That's where you put the game if you don't think the case is cool enough. I mean, by all means. It's a cool looking game case, but this is next level. It's all metal, and then inside it's got the Alola Islands. That is so tight. And then uh, embossed is the flipping uh, Lunala. That is so chilled. Oh my gosh, it's so shiny as well. So yeah, this is the uh, Pokemon Moon Steel case, and then we've got the game itself. All pretty straightforward. Um, let's get Mr. Stanley out. Let's check out what the game looks like. I'm pretty sure it should be the same as the demo, like a little Pokeball. But oh gosh. Oh, the squeak is real, fellas. Oh. Let's get all the... Oh. Get the top off as well. Dude, oh my god. Alolan Executor? I'm so pumped up. Alright, there we go. So yeah, the game's pretty much the same. And no flipping manual. Oh my... Even in the collector's edition, you don't even get an instruction manual. That's pretty rough. Alright, put that to the side. Put the... Uh, we got the steelbook as well. So, you get the steelbook, you get the uh, game case, you get the box, and you also get one of these. A random black box of some kind. Uh, what do you reckon? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Oh, barcode. Let's break this one. I wonder what's inside. Uh, my guess is like a Pokeball maybe? Or, uh, yeah, I guess it's like some sort of keyring. Or maybe the, I don't know, the game logo? Jeez, this is really glued in tight. Get this one open. Oh, yo, I think we've got these before. Oh, these are pins. Get, get out of town. That is so chilled. That's like the uh, the logo, of course, of Pokemon Moon. So that means we'll get the logo of Pokemon Sun as well. That's really cool. Not too shabby. I do like that. Put that to the side. And that's the uh, pretty much collector's edition of Pokemon Moon. And now we'll unbox Pokemon Sun. But before we do that, we also get a poster with the game as well. So let's go check out the poster. Tell me this is not the sickest poster you've ever seen of Pokemon Sun and Moon so far. Like, he's riding a Charizard up there. Then we'll get a couple of the new uh, Alola different Pokemon. And he finishes off riding a flipping Sharpedo, and we got the logos down the bottom there. And it's in like a nice like black border with Nintendo Pokemon Company. I love it so much. So that's like number one, and that's a huge poster by the way. Coolest poster ever. But then when you flip it around, you actually get the map of Alola. So uh, we got all the different islands on there. And it's got Pokemon Sun and Moon each side, and like it's a different way, so it's landscape. Oh my gosh, such a cool like hand-drawn sort of map. You could have, like, the map of Alola and, like, the uh, game poster right next to each other. No way. There's a uh, Pikachu for size comparison. Absolutely humongous. That is so sick. I love these posters so much. Guys, we've got Pokemon Sun to unbox. Now, I reckon this is going to be my first one I play through. Leave a comment in the comment section below which one of you play through first. Um, I know it's really 50-50, but I think I'm going to lean towards Sun first. But this is so cool. Exploding Sun in the background. Everything's pretty much the same. Got the uh, back of the box there, pause the video if you need to, barcode again, but let's get this bad boy open, and I want to see that steel case. Oh, it's so shiny. Dude, you can see the shine on it. Check this out right now. Definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. Which one do you like more? 
Pokemon Sun logo on the back there, all of this space theme, I love that. I could probably buy like a big painting with all that on there. Exactly the same insides, all the islands, got a little spot with the game. Close it up. No way. Oh my, I'm definitely keeping my games in there for sure. Put that to the side. Then we've got, of course, the Pokemon Sun game, but this one doesn't actually have any plastic wrap on it. Oh, maybe the people at the store took it off. I don't know. But yeah, let's crack it open. Game's still in there. It's all good in the hood. And look at this. You don't even get an instruction manual with that one. I don't know why that bums me out so much, but it does. Um, it's all good in the hood, though. Pokemon Sun. Everything we thought we'd see on the back of it. A couple of new Pokemon. Jeez, I'm, I'm pumped up. You get to ride a Charizard. That's like the highlight of my year. But Pokemon Sun, you get a black box as well. Let's crack this bad boy open. My... If it's not the flippin' sun pin, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it'd be. Let's try to get this bad boy open. Oh, Lord, that's even better. Yo, that looks like it's gold or something. Check that out. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much the Australian Collector's Edition of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. What do you think of it? Um, I honestly didn't think it'd be different for the rest of the world, but I think it's a bit different. So uh, we got the pin, we got the game, and the steelbook case, and a flipping poster. I mean, that's all I could ask for. It's the coolest thing in the world, but without further ado, as you can tell, I'm honestly just excited to play the game right now. That's all I can think about. So uh, I'm going to dive into this and never speak to you guys again, because that's all I'll be playing. So if you do see me again, I'll, uh, I'll just let you know to keep on gaming. Until next time, I'll see you then. <laughs>